Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm excited to bring you from our friends at Daisy Made Design these wonderful sort of seaside stamps and stencils. And let me go through each of these. This is the Lighthouse, Lighthouse stamp set. The Messing About in Boats stamp set. Seagull stamp set. Uh, the Ice Cream Shack stamp set. Um, my Mobile Home stamp set, which is this, oops, adorable little trailer. Uh, this is the Seaside stencil and the Water stencil. So let me show you what my friend Debbie and I made with these. So this one, of course, uses the Ice Cream Shack. It also uses um, a paper pack from Hot Off the Press called um, the, a Sweet Life paper pack. And I chose this one because it had this adorable little ice cream theme to it. Um, this one I used um, Spectrum Noir pens. Um, they're, if you're not familiar with them, they're alcohol-based pens, so they blend really easily. And uh, the tri-blend markers are actually three pens in one. So it comes with a dark pen, a medium color, and a light color, all in the same color scheme. Okay, so it's three pens in one, and it just solves so many problems, so much time of having to uh, figure out how you're going to coordinate all these different pens. So I highly recommend those. They're one of my favorite things. Um, let me also show you this adorable, this is the most, the cutest little 6x6 six six card featuring the little uh, My Mobile Home trailer stamp that Debbie made. And with this one, she wanted a little bigger surface, so she made a 6x6 six six card out of some 12x12 12 12 cardstock cut it down to six inches wide by 12 inches wide, and then of course just scored, scored the center and folded it. And then she used <clears throat> the stencil here, if I can grab this. She used the sun here from the seaside stencil. And then she also used, from our friends at Lawn Fawn, she uses this uh, lawn clippings stencil on some tan cardstock on the bottom of the page. Cardstock? I did not, so we'll just have to show you this way. So she just tore a piece of tan cardstock and inked the edge green, and then she just placed the bottom edge of the stencil here, used green ink and a blender brush, and just went like this to get that great little lawn edge. And she did that just sort of randomly around that tan cardstock. And then she also used Spectrum Noir pens to color her little trailer. Um, we both really like using this cardstock for our stamping. Um, it's from Hunky Dory and it's essential cardstock and it's just got a really nice surface for stamping on it. Um, it's just really got a smooth surface. It's not glossy, it's a matte finish, um, but I highly recommend that as well. Um, let me show you, yes, this is the one she used that with the Seaside. All right, and then here's one that I made this one using the lighthouse stamp and I just wanted to do something with a couple of cards so actually this is a card within a card like this and like this so this card here is just a blank card that I cut down put the fold on the right and I cut it to uh, four and a quarter inches wide by five inches tall and then just used some paper from the uh, Seaside paper pack from Hot Off the Press. So I um, put some in the very back here, cut it smaller than the card, and then I put some here. Notice I glued it even with the edge here and then left a little border. And then here on the front, same, cut it smaller than my card. And then I used the 12 um, circles and scallops oval cutting dies from hot off the press and um, cut my oval and then stamped on the oval or you can do it in reverse, you can stamp it and then cut it, uh, use your cutting dies. And um, I just used the Spectrum Noir pens. As you can see, went darker on this side and lighter on this side. So started with my dark pen and then just worked all the way over to the middle and then the light side of the pen. And then for the background, um, I just like to use these are new for Paper Wishes, uh, Prism ink pads, just a little dot of single color there. And uh, just use my blender brush to do some um, ink around the edge here. 
and then used my yellow Spectrum Noir pen. It's the dark end. <laughs> I just used the light end just to do this to give that little lighthouse effect. And for these adorable little seagull stamps, um, I stamped those on white cardstock, used a gray Spectrum Noir pen to give them a little gray and white color. And then I cut those out and um, put a little foam tape on those so they have some dimension. Now I should mention when working with the alcohol-based pens, you want to use the right ink. So if you used a water-based, um, excuse me, if you used an alcohol-based ink, the alcohol stamping ink and the blending markers would just blend together and you'd be all smeary. So what we like to use is use um, alcohol-proof ink. And for this particular one, I used um, Rustic Brown when I stamped it. And for Debbie's, she used the, um, what's this one called? Nor Black. Okay. So I just wanted to make that clear when you're working with alcohol pens, you want to get the right ink. Right. Oh, this is an adorable one that Debbie made. First, she used the water stencil on the background and she used for this um, a blue ink pad just to go over the center using her um, going over the background with her um, blender brush and then she stamped first she used um, the rectangle 12 rectangles um, and scallop cutting dies from hot off the press to die cut this little center piece and then from the outside she cut this scalloped rectangle um, using the blue fireworks holographic paper from hot off the press and look at that sparkle on it. really really cute you can't even see that that it's firework theme it just gives that firework pattern that's on there gives it a little um, extra dimension so anyway she colored her little seagulls there we go um, using also spectrum noir markers and I love how she cut out the little crabs and also foam taped those to give them some dimension and she of course wrapped her card front with a little jute twine wrapped it around made a little cut right there within a just a little craft knife and threaded that through to the front very very sweet card right and this last card debbie made i think is so spectacular she used the messing around with boats as well as the water stencil and i'm going to show you this technique here um, first of all she cut out her images um, stamped them of course with the black alcohol proof ink and then colored them with her tri-blend markers she also added these adorable little seashells that we carry at paper wishes and just glued them in little clusters here around the bottom but this background is something special and I wanted to show you how she did this. So she took this from Prism. This is a new ink pad for Paper Wishes. It's ombre ink pad, blue color. See, it's got three colors of ink. I've already done this one, but I'm going to show you how she got her placement of her ink. The first thing she did was got the blue going, the dark blue going around the top edge. So we're just going to do this it's got the item number on the back there. Um, we're going to do this direct to paper inking. You just kind of scrub back and forth like that. And then she turned the card. The fold was at the top. I mentioned that. Fold was at the top. Now we're going to turn that so that the opening is at the top. We're going to do the same thing. Right like this. I'm putting a little bit of extra pressure on the lighter colors down here so that they show up a little bit more. All right, now we're going to turn that around again. Fold is now at the top again. Now we're going to go right through the center. Like that. All right, easy as can be. Um, now this, for the next step, she's going to, she told me she did some embossing on that. So I've got this little sparkle background of embossing. But the thing is, is if we went and just dive right in there and used our stencil with our um, translucent uh, clear embossing pad or embossing ink, then we would have a little trouble because this is fresh ink right here. So we want to either let this dry for a little while or you just hit it with your heat gun. And that's going to dry that blue ink 
that we that's so fresh okay so I'm gonna skip ahead and use the one that I had before and I'm just gonna do a portion of this because she repositioned hers so nope she used it sideways we're gonna go ahead and use it sideways too all right so fold is at the top of the card I'm just gonna use the surface of this ink pad right through there. Now you can use um, stencil tape to keep your stencil in place, but I'm only gonna do the top edge of this card just for time's sake. I'm not gonna do the entire surface. All right, so lift that up. Yep, I can see it. And now we're gonna use, this is um, Sparkle Puff 3D Embossing Powder from Stampendous. I'm going to sprinkle that over the surface here. Okay, so. There we go. And you see that background there. And then I'm going to take our heat gun. As you can see it makes a great background really fun so you guys we have got a wonderful money saver on this entire collection and if you're watching us on our vlog page then you want to look to the right and you'll see a photo that says money saver click on that and if you're watching us on YouTube look at the description box below the video and you'll see links to paperwishes.com and also a link that's marked money saver um, so I would encourage you to check that out. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.